Reposado Tequila to me is the best of both worlds. You get the amazing raw agave flavor from say a Blanco tequila, but you get a lot of those barrel notes that are similar to like an Añejo tequila. So Reposado Tequila allows you to play with it in a lot of different cocktails in a lot of different ways. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you three amazing Reposado Tequila cocktails that you can make. The first cocktail we're gonna make for you is the Debbie Don't. It is a funky and fun cocktail named after the ghost that used to haunt the bathrooms of the bar that this was created at called Dutch Kills. I'm only assuming her name was Debbie. One ounce of our Reposado tequila. We're going to do one ounce of Amaro Averna. We're going to do a half ounce of maple syrup. Yes, maple syrup. And that makes me happy as a New Englander. And we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Lock it up and shake it up. Grab our chilled coupe glass. It's a lovely, interesting, dark brown color. All right, let's give this one a little sip. Oh, that's just, that's just incredible. The Averna has this almost chocolatey kind of flavor to it, uh, which combines beautifully with the maple syrup for this amazing, a little sweet and like complex and deep and rich, um, almost chocolatey and syrupy kind of flavor. The lemon juice really brightens it up and the Reposado tequila with its uh, barrel notes from it being aged is just really ties it all together and makes for an absolutely wonderful uh, cocktail experience. It is one of my favorite Reposado tequila cocktails. It is so, so good. The next cocktail I'm gonna make for you is the Rosalita. It is an amazingly simple yet delicious Reposado tequila cocktail that is named after a Bruce Springsteen song. We are going to do two ounces of our Reposado tequila. We're gonna do a half ounce of Amaro Montenegro. We're going to do three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice and three quarters of an ounce of agave syrup. And grab a glass that is half rimmed with salt. We're going to strain this over fresh ice. You can just pour it in if you really, really want to, but I like to do fresh ice. All right, let's give this one a little sip. Oh, that's so good. The Amaro and the Reposado tequila really combine beautifully in this cocktail that you would think it might be a little bit heavy because of the Amaro, but it's still a very nice and bright cocktail and it's out of this world. And the salt actually helps that as well. So you get a little bit of savory, you get some of those darker notes from the Amaro and from the Reposado tequila, but then the lime and the agave syrup just kind of bring it all together in a beautiful mishmash of a very amazing cocktail. So the next cocktail we're gonna make for you is called the Death Flip. This is a cocktail that was created in Melbourne, Australia, and it has become a modern classic tequila cocktail. And the ingredients to this are a little bit scary, but I promise you that once it all comes together, it creates an absolutely unforgettable cocktail. All right, so we're gonna do a half ounce of Jägermeister. And yes, I do know what you're thinking. Ew, Jäger. But trust me, in this cocktail, it works wonders. So a half ounce of Jägermeister, a half ounce of yellow chartreuse, we're going to do a, it calls for a dash of simple syrup, but I'm just going to do a bar spoon because a dash is kind of a hard way of doing it. And a bar spoon is pretty small. So, and one ounce of our Reposado tequila. Let me tell you a little secret though. This cocktail originally called for a Blanco tequila, but I personally prefer it with Reposado tequila. Just don't tell anyone. Shh. So an ounce of our Reposado tequila, the way that this cocktail recipe always intended it. And here's where it gets fun. An entire egg just for Simplicity's sake, we're gonna break the egg into the large tin just in case we get some of the shell in there so we don't have to go fishing it around. But we'll do a whole egg. And so usually when working with eggs, I like to do a dry shake and then a wet shake. Some people say that when it's a whole egg, you don't really need to do that. I like to do it just to be safe. Uh, so a dry shake means we're just gonna shake this for about uh, 30 seconds to a minute without ice. And then we're gonna add ice and do it again. All right, let's pop that open, fill it up with ice and do that all over again. All right, let's grab our cocktail glass here, nice and chilled, let's pour this out. And lastly, we're gonna do some freshly ground nutmeg right over the top. Let's give this a little taste. Wow, what a flip. What a flip and flip. That's delightful. So you get a lot of that Jaeger, and the chartreuse gives it a little bit extra of herbal notes. The egg gives it that fluffy texture and the Reposado tequila ties it all together. I think this is a wonderful cocktail. It's definitely out there and the ingredients are a little bit 
uh, scary if you've never worked with them or if you don't like Jaeger, but I promise you, this is just out of this world delicious. It's such a great cocktail and one that you should at least try at least once. And the name is just really cool. It's like metal. I hope this video gives you a couple different ideas of how to use Reposado tequila, but if you want to know what Reposado tequila is to buy, I have a whole other video that you can check out right over here.